Ma Ma Awards 2024 US reportedly trashes all OT7 related rise items, including colors. On November 21st, the 2024 Ma Ma Awards, Net Asian Music Awards, began its first night of events at the Dolby Theater in Los Angeles, California. The first night of Ma Ma includes a list of talented performers, including Rise. However, in the weeks before, certain events changed how Rise's inclusion in the lineup was taken. After an extended hiatus, it was announced that former member Sunghen would resume activities. It was announced that he would no longer be a group member just days later. Fans began protesting in various ways, including plans to protest at the Ma Ma Award ceremony in the US. Following a list of boycotted items sparking some controversy, fans began planning creative ways of getting their point across. However, it seems that even these protests that were not prohibited by the banned items list have been censored. Shortly before and after the event began, fans began reporting that the venue staff told them that items with the number 7 were not permitted to enter the venue. According to some fans, even items that were just the color orange, which is associated with OT7 protests, were also banned including shirts. We're directly coming for us OT7 Breeze and just Breeze in general at that point. So going in, they already knew about the protest. They knew what was going on. They were warned. They were literally on the lookout. Once people started protesting outside the Dolby Theater, they even had um, the police, like they had contacted the police, basically letting them know about the protest. So the police was there. Also, we weren't allowed to bring any banners or anything in. And okay, you guys can be like, oh, maybe it's just banners, no banners or whatever. But anything orange. Anything orange was not allowed in. So I had an orange ribbon. They made me take it off. I had glasses that just said rise. It wasn't light up. It was just glasses, guys. And all I said, it was like rise with a seven on it. And they made me, they wanted me to throw it away at first. But I said, if I could just take off the stickers and they allowed it, they allowed it with the stickers off. But if it had like rise or like R-I-I-7-E, you know, for rise, they didn't allow it in. Why did a security guard at Dolby Theater in LA just yell at us and say no banners, no orange, N077? So upset about how the staff have treated us literally acting like they're getting paid will get a bonus for every cover and banner and project we spent so much time and money, they throw away Elmfow. But they will hear US Rise IS7. Guys they almost didn't let me in because I'm wearing an orange blouse OMG. They're making everyone take off their ribbons. Banners anything orange off. Fans have called out the seemingly sudden change in what was allowed in criticizing SM Entertainment. Changing rules when people are already entering the venue is not only disrespectful but insane as well because you told people no banners? Okay they changed projects and now you're even hesitant of letting someone in because they have an orange blouse? Have some shame. Can have funeral reads up for days and never take them down but damn near making people take orange clothes off. With or without Sunghan is Rei's color not orange. Your company's choices are so ass backwards. So SM can let those atrocious Reads stay up for days on end, but we'll draw the line at f***ing bows and sevens? Are you f***ing serious? You will never silence us. Scream rise is seven as loud as you can. Other KPOP fandoms, icons glitz please help us as well. What are your thoughts on this?